In the present video, current electricity part 7, we'll be studying about combination of cells. There are situations where a single cell provides very small amount of current. In order to get the desired large current, we combine the cells in order to get so as to get the current needed for the device. There are different ways in which cells can be combined. A combination of cells called a battery may consist cells combined in series or end to end or it may have cells combined in parallel or sometimes we make use of mixed grouping of cells where we have a few branches of series combination of cells joined in parallel. We will study in this video as to which combination is to be used in different situations in order to get larger current. Beginning with series combination, for simplicity we will consider identical cells. The cells are said to be joined in series if they are joined end to end that is negative of first connected to positive of the second, negative of second to positive of third, negative of third to positive of fourth and so on. Such a combination of cells is called a series combination and like a series combination of resistors there is only one path for flow of current and the same amount of current will flow through all the cells. If you have n identical cells each of EMF E and internal resistance R joined in series the EMF provided by the cells will be added that is the total EMF of the combination will be NE for two cells it will be 2E, for three cells 3E, four cells 4E and so on. Here we have all the resistances, the internal resistances joined in series. So the total internal resistance will be N into R by that series formula which you already know. Suppose this combination drives a current I through an external resistance capital R. The total resistance in the circuit will be given by R total equal to R external plus R internal. R external is capital R and R internal is NR. So the total resistance in the circuit is capital R plus N into R. So accordingly the current will be EMF any of the combination divided by the total resistance capital R plus NR. Now this relation needs to be analyzed. There are two situations supposing the cells have large internal resistance. If NR happens to be very large as compared to R, we can neglect R. The relation for current then becomes I is equal to any over nr and cancels out you get e by r so this is like getting current from a single cell because n has no role here clearly this is a combination which is not suitable uh, when we can manage with one cell we need not use cells in series the series combination of cells therefore is not useful for cells with large internal resistance. Coming to case 2, if R is very large as compared to the internal resistance, that is external resistance very large as compared to internal resistance, then we will neglect this factor NR and the current will come out to be N e over R, N into E by R. E by R is the current provided by a single cell to the load resistance capital R. So the total current is N multiplied by current from a single cell. 
Hence, a series combination is useful when the external resistance is large. Coming to parallel combination, a number of cells are said to be joined in parallel if positive terminals of each of the cells in the combination is joined to a common point and the negative terminal is joined to a different common point. In order to see when will such a combination, the parallel combination be useful, let us consider an identical cells again, each of MFE and internal resistance small r joined in series as you have in this diagram. Since they are in parallel, the EMF will not be added. The EMF, which means the potential difference across the ends of the cell, it will continue to be capital E, that provided by a single cell. However, here the cells are joined in parallel. So, the equivalent internal resistance R E Q will be given by the parallel combination formula of resistors that is 1 over R equivalent equal to 1 over R plus 1 over R plus 1 over R. You will have n such terms for n cells. So this makes it n by R or taking reciprocals R equivalent comes out to be R by n. The total resistance in this circuit where we have n cells joined in parallel used to drive a current I through external resistance capital R. The total resistance will be R internal plus R external. R internal is R by N plus capital R leading you to this expression R plus NR over N. The current provided in the circuit will be E the EMF over R total. Substituting for this you get N into E over R plus NR. Like in series we can probe this relation and see when will the combination provide larger current. First case when the cells have small internal resistance that is R very small as compared to NR. Neglect internal resistance, you get I is equal to any over NR, any over NR because this R is neglected. Equal to A over R, that is the current from a single cell. Clearly, the parallel combination is not useful when the cells have small internal resistance. Coming to case 2, when internal resistance is very large, we can neglect NR. And this expression for current will become I is equal to N E over R, N into E over small r. E over small r is current from a single cell. So the combination will provide us N times the current from a single cell. Hence, in order to draw large current from a parallel combination, we should use such a combination only when the cells have a large value of internal resistance. Series combination when cells have small internal resistance, low internal resistance and external resistance is very large. Parallel when the internal resistance is very large. In order to drive maximum power from the cells, sometimes we make use of a mixed combination of cells wherein we have a number of cells connected in series and such branches are connected in parallel. Such a combination is called a mixed combination of cells. Let us suppose we have a total M into N cells each of MFE and internal resistance R that is all the cells are identical. And these cells are connected as shown, that is we have M branches connected in parallel with each branch having N cells. 
the combination has to drive a current i through an external resistance capital r an emf of each branch is n into e because there are n cells each of emf e and each branch has an internal resistance n into small r so the emf of the combination will be emf of each branch that is n into e whereas the total internal resistance will be the resistance of a parallel combination of m branches each of resistance n r joined in parallel so effective resistance of the parallel branches that is the total internal resistance will be given by nr over m so the resistance in the circuit that is total resistance comes out to be the external resistance capital r plus internal resistance nr upon m simplify you get this expression so current in this circuit drawn from these cells or the combination is total emf ne over the total resistance mr plus nr upon n giving you this result mn is total number of cells you may write it as capital n in order to get the maximum current the power drawn from the cells is maximum for which we have this condition that is r external equal to r internal this condition we will derive separately the circuit provides maximum power output when capital r that is external resistance is equal to the total internal resistance n r over m or you get m r is equal to n r we will be deriving this condition separately let's now obtain the condition for the power of supplied from a source to be maximum for the purpose the current should be maximum that is this denominator should turn out to be minimum now let's rewrite this term as root mr whole square root nr whole square minus 2 root mr nr plus root 2 mr nr this is a square root mr minus root nr whole square plus this expression now the right hand side is sum of two positive numbers this is a square therefore it is always positive plus these being resistances are positive so for minimum value of this mr plus nr this should be zero which leads us to mr equal to nr or r external equal to r internal this you know capital r is external resistance and internal resistance we have calculated to be nr over m so maximum power theorem states that the power drawn from a source is maximum when the internal resistance is equal to the external resistance let's now consider cells with different emfs and different internal resistances suppose we have two cells with emf e1 and e2 and internal resistances r1 and r2 respectively connected in series suppose this combination sends a current i for cell e1 we can write potential difference v1 equal to e1 minus i r1 similarly for this cell we can write v2 is equal to e2 minus i r2 the potential difference across the combination will then be sum of v1 and v2 as the two are in series so you get v equal to v1 plus v2 which we can rewrite as e1 plus e2 minus i into r1 plus r2 this circuit can be considered as equivalent to this 
For this equivalent circuit, we can write V equal to E minus IR. If you compare these two equations, 3 and 4, you will get E equal to E1 plus E2, which gives us EMF of the combination, and R equal to R1 plus R2, which gives us the total internal resistance of the combination. The combination will sell, send a current I through an external resistance connected here, capital R let us suppose, and then I will be given by total EMF over total resistance that is capital R plus small r. And using the values of E and R, the current is E1 plus E2 over capital R plus R1 plus R2. Suppose the same two cells send current in opposite directions. This is positive, negative, negative, positive. This will drive current in this direction and this will drive current in this direction through any external load which we connect here. So in this case the EMFs will oppose each other. Therefore net EMF will be E1 minus E2 unlike here. Here the two support each other. So the EMF comes out to be E1 plus E2. Here the EMF will be E1 minus E2. Total resistance however, internal resistance will be still added R1 plus R2. So the current will be E over R plus R or E1 minus E2 over R plus R1 plus R2. This is equivalent circuit for this combination capital E equal to E1 minus E2 and small r equal to R1 plus R2.